Hello everybody, your life my hands here, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making a relatively simple recipe, um, and the main reason I want to make it is because I found my inversion, uh, or, or, um, inversion blender, I believe that's what it's called, insertion blender, I don't know. Uh, I found it, I haven't seen it since I moved, and it got me thinking about it, I was like, hey, I can make a potato soup with this, and so that's what we're going to be making. I got four large russet potatoes, four uh, parsnips, one onion, some Polish kibalsa, uh, and I may add a little bit of corn into the soup towards the end because make it like a potato and corn kind of chowder. Uh, as for the base of the soup, obviously it's going to be a chowder-esque potato soup thing. You got to have like cream, milk, stuff like that. So over here, I have like my one pint, I guess, or however much beef broth I used. I don't know, it was in the fridge. It's whatever amount. Um, doesn't that look great? Uh, I have some heavy cream in there, and I also have a block of cream cheese. Now, I add all this stuff together cold, and I slowly bring it up to temperature to not curdle the milk. I wouldn't want to try to pour the cream in there while it's too hot, possibly curdle it or anything like that. This will allow it to um, come up to temperature together. I'm going to be throwing the parsnips and the potatoes in. I'm reserving that potato because I may, towards the end of the cooking, after this thing has been blended, add that back in there along with the uh, broiled kielbasa into the soup. And so it has like some chunks in there, some texture. I don't want to be completely smooth. The onion I will also throw in after blending as well. Once I'm done cooking it, I'll caramelize it a little bit and uh, it should turn out really well. So I'm gonna get all this stuff chopped up. It's gonna go in the pot and it's gonna be cooking until it's soft. I really don't care if these things break down completely. They're meant to be blended anyways. These will cook up much quicker than the potatoes. So anyways, I'm gonna start chopping. I'm not entirely sure how long this is gonna take. Um, the only thing I'm really using right now as a guide is going to be um, the uh, uh, potatoes essentially softening up. Once they're soft, like very fork tender to breaking apart, um, I'll be able to get the immersion, I, I had to look it up again, immersion blender out and, uh, and blend everything up into a nice smooth soup. And then we'll start adding a few extra things to it to make it a little bit fancy. For seasonings, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder while it's cooking. Um, and, uh, oh, what was the other one I used? Um, a little bit of uh, the mushroom powder that I have from Trader Joe's. And that stuff actually is really, really good, as I usually say every time I use it. Uh, so from there, now it's just going to let this thing cook. Don't really care how long it takes, just because it's uh, the only thing we're doing is just letting things soften up. So it's going to be in here for probably, I don't know, at least an hour once it gets up to temperature. We'll see what it looks like from there. All right, so this thing's been cooking for, I don't know, maybe hour and a half two hours took a little while and um i just took the lid off for the last half of it just to um give it a uh, a chance to kind of reduce a little bit now i get to use my favorite tool this thing immersion blender and we're gonna make this all smooth make sure to keep this down there so it doesn't start splashing out all over the place that's not a good thing like that tell it's working making it nice and smooth everything's looking really good i'm gonna finish blending this up till it is just a absolutely puree creamy mess and so we're gonna start making it uh, a little bit better after that and now for our proteins uh so i chose kobalsa because it's got like that nice smoky flavor and um a little bit of extra salt in it uh so i'm not going to throw this in there of course just plain like it is i'm going to put this on a low broil and my goal is to get a little bit of crispiness across the kielbasa and also hopefully render out a little bit of the fat so that it's not all just going directly in the soup. Um, and I think that that little bit of crispiness is going to add a real nice texture in this. And then I'm going to add a bag of frozen corn into the soup. And I like frozen corn because it really does maintain a nice texture and crunch. And I think that'll really send the soup over the top. And then we will add 
a little bit of cheese to the soup. So also a side note, once your soup is blended, uh, it's best to put it on low. This is when your soup will start to burn on the bottom. You don't want that. So real low, keep it mixed up every once in a while and make sure it's not burning. Well, I'm gonna get these things into the oven and uh, we'll go from there. So kielbasa is a very, very uh, greasy, oily kind of meat, a lot of high fat content, which isn't a bad thing, especially on grills and stuff like that. Just awesome, tastes great. But I really didn't want all that in my soup. So I ended up just putting it at like 400 for a little while. I then amped it up to about 500 just to get a little bit of coloration on these things, but just a whole bunch of oil down there. And that's what I'm, I tried to get out. So these are gonna go in here. We're gonna start shredding up some cheese and then that will be the final touch to this potato soup. And now for my favorite part, the cheese. And uh, this is um, Velveeta cheese. And uh, I'm, I'm really not a fan of Velveeta cheese, but I was in Walmart the other day and I was like, hey, I was walking by it. I haven't had Velveeta cheese in maybe ever. Like, I mean, I've had the macaroni box mixes, but I don't really don't remember in my house ever having a block of Velveeta. And I was like, I gotta try it. Maybe it's really good. And maybe I just don't remember it, you know. You know, and so I, I got it and I ate a slice or two off of it. And uh, there's a reason I don't buy Velveeta cheese. Oh, do you see that? What is that? Ew, it's got a, ew, I didn't notice that. It's got a bubble in it. Okay, that's disturbing. Anyways, I don't like Velveeta cheese. It's plastic. I don't care what anyone says, but I think it'll melt really nice in the soup and hopefully add a little bit of cheesy flavor. I'm gonna get this guy shredded up. It's gonna go in the soup and we'll see how it comes out. God, look at this. <laughs> oh, there, I broke it. This stuff's weird. That was by far one of the worst shredding experiences of my entire life. I mean, this block has been in the freezer and it's just squishy. This this stuff is unnatural. I don't care what anyone says. Like, it, it is not cheese. I, I just had it and I thought, hey, why not try to use it? I mean, I guess it melts easy, so that's good. But like, what is it? It's just squishy oil. Like, I literally just added the Velveeta cheese. And I, I, like even a couple chunks and I can't find it anymore. It's, it's gone. It, it, it's weird. I, I only know what happened. I guess that's, do they call it a cheese substance instead of cheese? Because it's not cheese. Cheese doesn't do that. I don't trust it. Look at that stick though. Gosh, this stuff's going to be awesome. Oh, spoon. Let's try a little bite of this soup. Wow. Mm. That's probably the best potato soup I've ever made. The kobalsa is an amazing addition. The corn, little crunch to the corn. It's so smooth because of the immersion blender. Um, really put some work in. I mean, that's just, it is a delectable treat. I don't taste any Velveeta. It probably just thickened it up and turned back into whatever the hell it's made out of. Probably like 49% oil, but uh, made it really thick, really tasty. This is a wonderfully hearty meal. I highly suggest if you are looking for a winter soup, this one, this one's it right here. Maybe substitute it out, Velveeta for a block of cheddar, like I would usually do, uh, but fantastic. Go make yourself some wonderful, wonderful potato soup. Hope you guys have a great week. Talk to you later.